Ready to go now. And digging in for San Francisco, Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. And the pitch. That's a strike. And we're underway. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. On the ground to short. Bogarts with the throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Austin Slater stands in. Austin Slater. Flips the corner. And that is strike one. You know, Chris Blake does everything right handed except for everything he does while playing baseball. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Check swing on an 0-2. Appeal to first. No swing. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. On the ground to first. He'll do it himself. And that is that. Giants zero. Padres coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And here comes Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. And that one missing low. Out to short. Anderson. One up, one down. Now the youngster Juan Soto. Two for eight in the series so far. That's a strike. Going one. Oh and one. There's the swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just gonna have to tip your cap on that pitch. On the ground. Whips it to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first. Two away. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Manny Machado. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Foul ball. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now the Giants four hitter, Mitch Hanniger. In the air, left field. Soto gets under it. And there's one away. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Mike Yastrzemski in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And that's going to get into the corner. Safely into second. He's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Yastrzemski leads off second with one gone in the inning. And yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And yeah, the count one and two to the right side. Steps on first for the out. And now the first baseman, Blake Sable. That one's in there, 0 1. No score here in the second. Next offering misses, and 1 and 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. 
Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, a double, no error. Bottom of the inning. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. Here comes a pitch. That one ripped. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. And that's a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Two for nine so far in the series. There's a strike. All in one. Swings through that one. He's trying for third. Pitch inside. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. When a guy's got that kind of lead at second base, somebody's got to call timeout. Pitcher's got to step off. The catcher's got to ask the young for time or something. You can't let him get out that far. When you don't have a good throw behind the plate, he's going to steal third almost standing up. That's a really good job of being aggressive by the base runner. The pitch. In the dirt, blocked to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. That might prove to be a big play in this game. Not only the strikeout, but the effort behind the plate to complete the out and make sure the game stays tied. That's great work behind the dish, and I'm sure he'll get a lot of love from his teammates if they're able to strand that runner now. Jake Cronenworth, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. That misses, and it's a ball to strike. drive and that's a base hit out into center field and they'll score first it's one zip and he's got a double well a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle we saw the numbers coming into the ball game but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win man at second with one away Trent Grisham the next up for the Padres Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Here comes Cronenworth around third. He will score. And they take a two-run lead. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. And a swing and a miss. Still only one out here in the inning. Gets under and pops it up. Puts it away for the out. And now it's Austin Nola. Two for seven in the series so far. Bounced out to short. Anderson to first. They limit the damage here. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the veteran third baseman, Wilmer Flores. That's in there. It's 0-1. Flores getting the start at third, 31 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. Grisham takes it in for the out. And there's one down. Roberto Perez at the plate now. That's ball one. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And forget it. So he leaves the yard to left. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1.
That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Tim Anderson. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Anderson, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Line drive, base hit. One gone runner at first. Austin Slater. Anderson runs. Pitch misses. Bro, and they got him. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. There's the strike. Two one. Swings through that. Two ball. Two strike. Slow roller to third. Throw over to Cronenworth, and that will end the inning. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Xander Bogarts. Di Sclafani back to work. On the ground to the left. Flores on to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Juan Soto now. He's 0 for 1. And he grounds one back up the middle. Anderson to first. They get the out on Soto. Here's Manny Machado now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And takes low for ball one. Machado, multi-time all-star, hitting third in the lineup. He's knocked in nine over his last ten games. The oh. next offering misses. And yeah, that's ball two. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Next pitch is outside. Got him. Padres go down one, two, three. Three up, three down. As we go to the top of the fourth and digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. And a foul ball. The 0 1. And ball one. Strike two. And another ball. It's a good take. Bounce to third, handled by Machado. And Estrada is out. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Up the middle, Bogarts fires over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Yastrzemski, the next to hit, takes outside. Next pitch is outside. In the air, out towards left center. Soto right there to make the grab and that welcome back digging in it's the speedy outfielder Fernando Tatis Jr. 
Swing and a miss. Oh, one, one. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, one one. that can be a route to doing it. Tatis waits. And a count one and two. Nothing but curveball so far in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. There's a strike. Next offering misses down and away. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The why to kick the pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The why the kick and the one two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Oh, Next one off the plate inside, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Cronenworth now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And that one clips the corner. No ball, two strikes. In the dirt, on to first. That completes the strikeout, inning over. We go to the top of the fifth, and now Jack Peterson pitches in there. That's strike one. Gets the outside corner with that one. That's the third. In plenty of time to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Saber batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Next offering is down low. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Machado fires across the diamond, and the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Flores stands in now and watches strike one. Going two now. And down on strikes he goes. Out number three. Giant. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. So digging in, ha Sung Kim. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Peterson makes the grab. And there's two away. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. Grounded out his first time. Late swing fouled off. Righty delivers. 
In the air right field. Hanniger has a beat on it. Makes the grab. And that ends. Snell back to work. A little bit low. That one missed. The pitch. And here's a slow roller. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Lineup flips over. Tim Anderson, the next giant to hit. And that one is lifted in the air. Tatis snags it on the run. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Slater at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Next pitch misses outside, and the count is one and one. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Struck him out looking. So they go quietly there. Bottom of the sixth inning. And here is Xander Bogarts. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Hanniger sizing it up. Makes the grab one away. Here's Juan Soto. All one, no strikes. Soto in his sixth season, 24 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch in foul ground. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch. And when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. Machado at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third. Back here at Petco Park. Top of inning number seven. Tyro Estrada to the plate. That's in there. And that's strike one. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. One down. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. And there's a ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. And a pitch. There's a strike. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No, he held up. Hanniger stands at first with one out. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. Bottom of the seventh. Digging in. Fernando Tatis Jr. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. Tonight his slider has been really impressive. I mean tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. That's hard hit on the line. Slater makes the catch, and there's one gone. Matt Carpenter will hit next. 
And that one lifted in the air center field. Slater sprinting. Grabs it on the run. Out number two. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Cronenworth up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Lifted in the air, right field. Hanniger has a beat on it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here in San Diego, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Jock Peterson. On the mound now, Jose Castillo. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And now two balls and a strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And now two and two. And just misses with that one. Bounce to the left side, handled by Machado. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the shift. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Throw over to Cronenworth. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Down the line towards the corner. Tatis drifts towards it. And that is that. Giants go to... Pitching change here. Johnny Brebbia. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Grisham, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Left-hand batter waits. And now one and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Next offering is foul bat. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I've been in many games as a fan. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Out to short, Anderson. Sends it across the first. That takes care of Grisham. So up next, ha -sung Kim. He swings and fouls one off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Scott Alexander up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. And oh, one and two. And yeah, the right hander deals. That one ripped left field. And out of here. A shot to left. Home run number five on the season. It's 3-1. if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. So one out, nobody on. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. Swings through that one. 0-1. Swing and a miss. Oh, chased it out of the zone. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the oh. zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. 
Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Riding to the plate. And there's a foul ball. Deal two. Good eye right there. Popped up. Anderson makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. Last chance coming up for the Giants. And well welcome back. Roberto Perez standing in. New pitcher coming on, the veteran Luis Garcia. And this is his 40th appearance of the season, so he's starting to log a decent amount of work this year. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Good eye right there. He goes down looking. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. And it's fouled away. Garcia measures six feet, two inches, 240 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Ground ball right side. Slings the first, and they take care of Anderson for the out. So they're down to their final out. Down the number two hitter, Austin Slater. Hit weakly on the ground. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Padres claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Great pitchers duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.